What is going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be playing Minecraft Hardcore and trying to see if I can survive for 100 days. This is part 1 of the 4 part series, we're going to be doing days 1 through 25 in this episode. So if you guys want more stuff like this, just tell me in the comments. And by the way, I got a new mic setup, so hopefully my mic sounds a bit more clearer than before. And days after day 17 is when I get my new mic, so it'll sound a bit different. And also, the interesting stuff starts happening after day 17. So if you want to just skip all the boring things that I'll just do at the beginning, just go straight to day 17. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. What is up guys, welcome back to another video, and today, I'm going to be doing a different type of video. I don't think I've ever done like a Minecraft kind of playthrough series, but this is my first attempt at it. So today, I'm going to be trying Hardcore Minecraft Out. It's pretty much where if you die, your world gets deleted forever. No matter how long you've spent on like all your builds, all your farms and everything, it's all gone. So I'm just going to try to see if I can make it through 100 days without dying, without dying. And yeah, this is my very first attempt in Minecraft Hardcore. This was also inspired by Luke the Notable. I'll put his channel in the description. So as you just saw right there, we saw some iron at the spawn, so I was pretty lucky. I'm going to be getting tons of wood because, you know, that's what you always got to do when you first start off. Alright, it's currently day one, and I just made my first wooden pickaxe of the whole series, and we're going to go get some stone over here so we can make ourselves a stone pickaxe and then grab the iron. After mining for a bit, I got a little bit of coal and some iron, and I decided to make myself a full um a full stone set so i made myself the pickaxe the axe and the sword and also the shovel i went to go chop down some more trees and when it came back my iron was done smelting so i picked up my furnace and i decided to craft an iron pickaxe i also decided to make some armor so i went with the chest plate i killed a bunch of animals I decided that my goal for day one was to at least get a house done, so I began building. It was pretty ugly because I used spruce for every single block, but you know, we all gotta start somewhere. I also didn't have any glass yet, so I just used planks to fill in the, the windows before I could get glass. I then went outside and started planting all the saplings that I have gathered from tree chopping from before. Time flew by, and before I knew it, it was already dark, so I crafted torches from the coal I had left over, and I started placing torches around my house. There was a skeleton freaking following me, so I decided it was probably better if I just stayed inside my house, blocked it up, and just waited the night out. It was day two and it was finally light outside. Today I decided my goals were to get some fish, and also to mine a lot. I killed a lot of fish. The rest of the day I decided to build like a little mine right next to my house so that I could go down and get ores whenever I needed to. And yeah, the rest of the day was pretty much just me gathering up coal and iron. I went home, crafted a furnace, and then I cooked up all the fish that I caught from earlier today. Alright, it is day 3 and my goal today was to get a bed and maybe start a farm. So first I crafted up myself a full iron set from the iron I made yesterday, and then I went out to go look for a sheep. I spotted a sheep almost right away and I went straight to go kill it. Then I started working on the farm, and I also made some improvements to the house. It was day 4 and I walked outside and I saw this chode tree right outside of my house so I decided to go chop it down. Later when I went mining that day, two creepers pulled up on me and I thought I was already gonna die and it was only day 4, but thankfully they didn't really hurt me that much. Then I found this sick ravine and all I did for the next couple of days was just go mining and look for a bunch of ores. There was tons of coal everywhere inside the ravine and there was even some lapis and also a mine shaft so I guess I found the gold mine. I also ended up finding my first patch of diamonds. It was only a three vein, but it's okay, because I found an eight right after that. I started smelting up the iron and gold I got from my mining trip, and I also got some diamonds and lapis, so I think that mining trip went pretty well, but I also mined for a pretty long time. Day seven, and I completely forgot about my meat farm, so I went to go harvest it. I also went and got tons of birch and turned most of it into planks. I decided today I was going to start building a brand new house, because my old house just... It wasn't cutting it for me anymore, so I started digging out an area and also started laying down some planks for where the foundations were going to be. I finally finished up my foundation and it was already dark. So I looked back and I think it looked pretty good. So then I just ran back to my house before any zombies or any skeletons could come kill me. Day 8 was just tree chopping. It went well into day 9. While I was chopping down some wood, I saw these dudes next to my house and I was so confused, and they looked scary, so I just ran away. 
I went to go check if they were there later, and they were still there, so I didn't know what to do. I just ran inside my house and just shut the door. It was day 10, and I was pretty excited that I made it this far. I built a little house and a farm, and also started work on my second house. And, yeah, a lot of, a lot of you guys could probably do a lot better than me, but I was pretty proud of what I had done so far. I started to work on the house even more. I also nearly died from taking so much fall damage from jumping off all these pillars. Building the house took a really long time. It took me many days and nights, and I even had to build through rain. On day 14, I was bored of building my house, so I came back home and I saw that all my wheat was ready, so I went in and harvested that. It was day 15, and I decided to adventure a little bit, and I came across a village in like, literally a minute. Like, that's the village, and back there is where my base is, like, it's super close, so that was pretty lucky. I went inside the village and robbed them of all of their belongings. I also brought some sheep and cows with me on the way back home. The next day, I built a little fence area where I could keep them. I lured them in, and there was a skeleton with an enchanted bow following me, and it was really scary, because he hit one of my cows, but it's all chill, because he died. I bred two of the cows, and got an achievement. I also forgot that I had the diamond pickaxe for this long, so I decided to actually get obsidian. I also created my nether portal that day as well. And I also made an enchantment table with the diamonds and obsidian that I had. Bro, I literally got so much wood today, dude. I had like four stacks of logs in my inventory. I also collected some chicken there. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Bro, chill. There was a freaking spider trying to attack me while I was building out my new house. Like, I really wanted to finish my house early just so I could actually move in because I've been working on this house for multiple days and I just wanted to finish it once and for all. So I just built this for literally like four days straight. It took so long, dude. I was almost done with my house, I was just hauling up the ground underneath to try to make like a little farm and then we can finally go back and do some adventuring and actually do some interesting stuff because I'm sure this was all pretty boring for you to watch. Did my hoe just break? Yes, yes it did break. What kind of question was that? Obviously my hoe broke. What was I even saying? Alright, with all that aside, welcome to the crib boys. Just finished building a new house. Time to give a house tour. So as you can see on the outside, there's tons of nice bushes and leaves as I use that a ton. Over to the left is a little bedroom. Pretty bland, just a bed and a room with glass. <laughs> now, right over here is my enchantment room, or area, I guess. It's not really a room because we're right outside. There's leaves because I don't have books yet. Once I get books, I will replace those leaves. Up here is our storage room, and on the other side is like a crafting area. I'll probably put all my crafting stuff over there. And yeah, that's pretty much what the house is. And then down here is just the farm. I do not have a ladder yet, so I'm just going to keep on taking fall damage till I decide to actually put a ladder there. So yeah, that's the house tour, boys. How did you like it? I thought it was pretty good. I organized all of my chests today, and I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm going to try to stay as organized as possible in this let's play slash challenge, whatever this is. Later that night, I crept over to a villager's house. And I wanted to force him into a being a Fletcher so that I can rob him of all of his emeralds. Why are you bullying me? So I just closed off the door so he couldn't get out, and I ran away. I checked here tomorrow, and sure enough, he became a Fletcher. So now it is time to trade with him to get all of my emeralds. I completely forgot about the nether portal, so today I decided I was actually going to go in the nether. And I don't think I said anything about this, but I'm currently in the newest snapshot. 20w20a or 20w20b whatever it is and there's the nether update and it's very fire so i go to the nether i see gold gold in the nether for the first time it was very pog so i went to go get that and it dropped you nuggets and it was weird it dropped you like a couple of nuggets but it was cool i'm also loving the nether sounds dude the nether sounds they sound so much better so i got home from my nether trip and i crafted up all of my materials that i got I realized that I crafted quartz blocks, and I don't think you can turn those back into actual quartz. You stupid! So I guess I got some I got some quartz blocks now for no reason. Today was traveling day, so I went out very far, and I, I spotted this really weird building that I've never seen before. I didn't know that these things even existed in vanilla Minecraft. So I went closer to it, and I realized that there was one of those pillager dudes, apparently. That's what they're called. I looked them up. And they were really scary, because last time, like, they did like 3,000 hearts to me, so I dipped out of there as fast as I could. I kept on moving in the same direction, 
And I came across one of these things. It was like a broken nether portal. I'm pretty sure this is new with a new snapshot. And it looked super sick. I've never seen like netherrack spawn like actually spawn in the overworld. So there were two gold blocks, so I went and snagged those. The chest was cracked. There was a protection one helmet, a smite five sword, and there was a hoe with silk touch. Why is there a hoe with silk touch? What does that even do? Well, anyway, I just kept on going, and I saw this like big group of cows. There's literally ten cows in like one area. I've never seen as much. So I just went over there and just started clapping them all. Three sixty, ooga booga booga! Hey, you actually made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys liked what I kind of did, like, after episode 17. I kind of spiced it up with some memes and tried to do a little bit of editing just to make it a little bit more interesting to watch. If you liked that kind of content, just tell me in the comments below. I will be sure to make more Minecraft videos if that is what you guys want to watch. So just tell me what you guys want to see in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Shut up.